This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says these two circles have the same center. And it wants to know what is the shaded area. We're given a chord through the larger circle that's split by 10, 5, and 10. This is another puzzle by Katrina Ag. And if you want to try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. Since the two circles have the same center, let's label that center. Let's draw a radius of the little circle, and let's call the radius little r. And then we can draw a radius of the larger circle and let's call it big R. And now we can write a formula for the shaded area. It's gonna be the big circle minus the little circle. So it'd be pi big R squared minus pi little r squared. This looks important, let's put a box around it. For the next step, we were already given this chord and we can make another chord right here. This reminds me of the intersecting chords theorem. It says for any two intersecting chords in a circle, the two chords will always cut each other such that this times this equals this times this. Every time I use this, people ask about it. Let's see if we can prove it real quick. If we connect here to here and here to here, we're gonna end up with two triangles. We'll have the orange triangle and the yellow triangle. If we look at these two angles here of the two triangles, those are gonna be congruent. That's because they're vertical angles. Next, let's focus on this angle of the orange triangle. Let's isolate it here and let's label it theta. This is called an inscribed angle and it's always true that an inscribed angle is always half of the arc that it subtends. So this arc is gonna be two theta and that'll be true for any inscribed angle, including this one here. If this inscribed angle subtends this two theta arc, it's gonna be half of two theta or theta. Since these two angles subtend the same arc, they are congruent. And let's mark both these thetas as congruent. And then for this angle, let's call it alpha. We can do the same thing for it. This arc will be two alpha degrees. And then we can pivot over to this inscribed angle. And since this is two alpha, this is alpha. So now these two angles are congruent. So in these two triangles, we have three pairs of congruent angles. That means they are similar triangles. And let's copy them down here. Since these two triangles are similar, their sides will be proportional. So we have A over D equals C over B. And then from here, we can cross multiply. We can do A times B is equal to C times D. And A times B equals C times D is what we're trying to prove. So this is the proof of the intersecting chords theorem. And now that we've proven it, let's use the intersecting chords theorem. Let's find this distance right here. Well, this whole thing is big R. And then this piece is little r. So this portion will be big R minus little r. And then for this part of the chord, it's gonna be big R plus little r. And then for the other chord, this portion is equal to 10. And this portion is equal to the 10 plus five, which is 15. Let's clean things up and use our theorem. It'll be 15 times 10 equals big R plus little r times big R minus little r. And now let's simplify this. On the left-hand side, 15 times 10 is 150. And on the right-hand side, this is a difference of two squares. Here are the notes right here. If you ever have a plus b times a minus b, it's equal to a squared minus b squared. So big R plus little r times big R minus little r will be big R squared minus little r squared. I'm noticing in our area formula, we have a big R squared minus a little r squared. The only difference is they're both being multiplied by pi. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by pi. On the left-hand side, we'll have 150 pi. And on the right-hand side, this pi will distribute to both of these. It'll be pi big R squared minus pi little r squared. And that is what we were trying to solve. So in the place of this, let's plug in 150 pi. And let's check for the units. There's no units given, so let's give it a label of square units. And this is the answer to our question. The area of this shaded region is 150 pi square units. And it's already got a box. I think this problem was brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, let's talk about brilliant. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI, and all of them are interactive, which is the most effective way to learn. I really enjoy learning new things every day, but sometimes I'm not sure exactly what to do next. Brilliant makes it super easy. They have so many different topics. All I have to do is just pick one. And then once I choose a topic, there's a bunch of interactive lessons and they're all in a very logical order and the explanations are clear. It's a very enjoyable way to learn. If you want to try Brilliant.org, they have a free 30-day trial. You can visit Brilliant.org slash Animath or click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium plan. How exciting.